In the middle of the 20th century, Taishi Ono developed new production methods. The main goal was to raise productivity and efficiency, but to reduce the expense of warehouse stock. To achieve these goals, Taishi Ono developed the Kanban system. Kanban is a method for the inventory record keeping and production control. It relies to the pull principle and represents a self-contained control loop. The consumer who has consumed a specific Kanban amount gives a signal to the delivery man by using a Kanban card to produce the Kanban amount again. The customer requirements determine the speed of production. Kanban is a Japanese word for card. Every important information about the material is collected on the Kanban card. For example, item number of denomination, number of pieces in the container, consumer and delivery man. Advantages and disadvantages Advantages Avoidance of overproduction, higher material availability, shorter delivery times, reducing the effort of planning and control, higher productivity at the buying department, at the procuration, planning and controlling. Increasement of the inventory turnover ratio. Disadvantages. Loss of Kanban cards. Uncontrolled inventory management. There are several ways to use the Kanban system. Distributor Kanban. Distributor Kanban means the supply of distributors to the raw material warehouse. Transport Kanban. Transport Kanban means the supply of raw materials to the first step of production. It's a demand-oriented way of supply. Production Kanban Production Kanban means the supply between the single steps of production, from downstream to the upstream production step to supply the assembly line. Finished Products Kanban means the supply of finished goods from the assembly line to refill the finished goods warehouse by new assembled articles out of the assembly line. Customer Kanban Customer Kanban means the supply of the customers by using the Kanban system. A Kanban supermarket is built where the required pieces could be removed. The customer can send a Kanban signal if the Kanban is empty so the supermarket could be filled again. The most used Kanban is the Customer Kanban. But how does this system work? Now we are at the warehouse of an industrial firm. This is where the so-called C parts are stored. C parts are a huge amount of material which are comparatively cheap. These materials are often required, therefore they have to be available. Every material is stored in their own box. Each box is marked with an associated Kanban card. Each material is stored in diverse boxes. These boxes are stored consecutive on the Kanban rack. Each box is marked with a Kanban card. If the box in the front is empty, the next box will be pulled to the front and the empty box will be sent to the distributor. Because of the Kanban card, the distributor is able to realize quite fast what's inside of the box, how much material must be filled into the box and to which customer it must be supplied. When the box enters the industrial company again, the box will be stored and the cycle starts anew.